What's going on guys, Audio here, welcome back to a brand new video. So today EA have gone ahead and released a new showdown and it is between Barcelona and Sevilla and the two players they have chose is Kunde and Telles and this Kunde card is looking incredible. He has got 94 pace with 88 dribbling, 97 defending, 93 physicals with 81 passing. He is a 5 foot 11 player with high high work rates, 3 star skill moves and a 3 star weak foot. The chem style, anchor. I feel like Anchor is 100% the way to go because it gives him maxed out pace, 99 acceleration and 99 sprint speed while also increasing the physicals a real good amount as well. And obviously the extra defending stats is a nice little thing to have on the side as well because the defending stats are already crazy. So, you know, a few plus ones, like plus one to defense awareness, plus one to standing tackling. I don't think that's going to make a big difference. But yeah, the pace maxed out, you can't get better. Passing stats look incredible. Another centre-back that has got 80 vision i think it was was it rudiger yeah rudiger had 80 vision as well and i was really impressed with his passing ability like those over top through balls was way better than what i expected it to be so i'm expecting the same from kunde today the dribbling stats look amazing i'm definitely expecting him to feel incredible on that ball the defending stats as i said looks top tier especially with the anger chem star applied you're seeing so many 99s in there and obviously the physicals getting a nice upgrade with the anger chem star as well 99 strength you can't get better there 96 aggression beautiful for a player that is five foot eleven, and he also has got ninety nine jumping. Like this is the thing, because he is five foot eleven, right? He's not gonna outhead a player like Varane. He's not gonna outhead a player like Rudiger. It's just not gonna happen. It's just he has got ninety nine jumping with 96 heading accuracy. So if he does get onto the header, it will be a very very good header. Now the links French Barcelona. Come on, you guys know the links on this card is outrageous. You get that hyperlink to Ferland Mendy. You get a nice little weak link to Varane. And I guess if you have someone like Magnan in goal, you also get a nice little weak link there as well. So yeah, the links are not an issue. That French nationality is just straight up amazing to have in this game. Positions, one position, centre-back position. Let's get into the games and let's see how good Showdown Kunde is going to be. He might try to pass to Benzema here. There you go, Kunde. Just use a bit of your strength there. No way you don't get in front of him. There you go. I like how he was trying to be aggressive there. Is it a foul? Oh, I thought he could have foul for a second. I wanted him to use a bit more of his strength, though. Like, I thought he was going to try to get into that shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder animation with Benzema and just push him to a side. It's just, it did not happen. And Kunde does put in a good tackle there. That's a good through ball. I'm going to push out here. No, I went so far. I didn't realize he was going to be that quick to get towards him. So I kind of overdid it a little bit. But look at that recovery. I'm going to push out again. Couldn't they get that? You see what I mean about how fast he can get out to players? Like, that is like the second time he's done that now. And that is just stupid how quick he can get out to him. Extra pass into Ginola there. Look at that again, man. Kunde getting out to the player. We played a simple pass over to Salah, but that is half time. Extra pass into Ginola, maybe. I'm going to push there. Hold on. Kunde, can you get there? Yes, you can. We'll roll around him as well. Look at that. Look at this. We'll roll around Mateus. He's feeling good on the ball as well. Like, look at the touches he is taking. Let me go for this over top through ball because I see Dembele and that is a crazy pass. Can I get the goal? No. Who is that? Is that Ruben Diaz? I think it is. He does well to get back there. Oh, Kunde's actually came up for the corner. He's up against Benzema. We'll give it a go. Come on, Kunde. Use that jumping ability to get onto it. He was uh, he was kind of close to it, but he didn't get onto it, unfortunately. No over top through ball there. There you go. Kunde's transition as well. Like you guys can see, he is so fast. They're going left and right. I am just recovering every single time. I screw up a little bit and he's so good at it. Let's see if we can score this near post. He moves keep and everything. There's a gap in that middle. I'm going to rush out with Kunde. He expected it this time. I've been doing it so many times this game, but look at that. Look how quick he is. He's so fast. His transition is insane as well. And that is another really good tackle. Oh, yeah, this guy screwed up. An offside trap at the wrong time. I'm going to go for a little chip as well. Green time. He goes right into the corner. Let's go forward of Kunde a little bit. There you go. Keep it going. Go for a quick ball roll and everything and just pass it through the middle. I like how I can do that with him. I don't need to just, you know, keep it simple. I can go for a bit of a run if I want to. You can obviously do that with someone like Varane and all, but Kunde definitely feels better on the ball than Varane. There's a through ball opportunity there. There you go. Varane is there to collect the ball. Kunde. Look at that turn. Go for a quick ball roll as well. You see what I mean? Like, his dribbling is nice. It's really nice. Like, you can go for a few twists and turns. 
Can I get that, Cancelo? No way, Cancelo, you don't get that. I'm going to press Okunde. Go on. There you go. Perfect slide tackle. You see what I mean about the pace to get out the players? Like, my opponents don't expect a centre-back to get out to him that quick. So it really, like, is unexpected. And when he gets out to him, he gets that ball. Push out Kunde once again. Don't allow him to get past you. There you go. That's a good tackle. It did bounce in a few places, but we eventually came out of it. With him having the high attacking work rate, you definitely do notice him move a little bit more forward than someone like Varane. Like sometimes when I need a passing option, he will find that gap and he will try to give it to me by just moving forward slightly. And that's something Varane does time to time, but definitely not as often as someone like Kunde. He's going to try to turn again. He doesn't. He tried to go for the finesse shot. I'll be honest, I was just reading that cut back, but Kunde somehow managed to extend his leg to go in for that block. He hasn't brought out a keeper. Kunde, near post again. Oh, he's up against Chiellini. He's not. Oh, he's up against Ramos. Yeah, the thing is, right, he was up against Neymar for like a split second. It's just it switched to Kunde, and yeah, I had no hope of him winning the header. Green time. No, I even greened it as well. It was on his weaker foot, but you never know, right? You never know. It could fly in. Let's give uh, a cross another go. Come on. Kunde. Up against Marquinhos, I believe that is. Oh, he's up against Neymar. No, he's won it as well. He jumped really high. It's just, yeah, the header itself wasn't that great. I really do want to try to score a header with him. So let's give this one more go. Come on. Near post. Kunde against Mbappe. Yeah, he's lost it to Mbappe. That's the thing, right? Like, he might have amazing jumping. It's just him being 5 foot 11. He isn't going to be a player that's going to be, like, consistently winning headers. I'm trying to create an angle here. Yedder. Nice scoop turn. And that should be easy. Easily a goal. Especially Yedder. Like, Yedder in that position. That needs to go in. He might go for a finesse shot here. I'm going to try to press out to Haaland. Kunde, look at the transition. You see the transition speed? You see how quick he is? They're just going left and right there. We couldn't get the ball, though, off Haaland, unfortunately. I'm going to push here. He's going to try to go through the middle. He's doing everything to try to create an angle. Kunde, catch up to Grealish. No, he just slightly lets him past him. That's happened a few times, though. Like, Kunde's strength sometimes doesn't really come into play in situations that I need it to. Like, that situation right there, especially with his kind of strength, I want him to just push the play off the ball. His tracking, by the way, is so good. Like, I'm telling you guys, defensive awareness on this card is amazing. He's tracking everything. Like, I don't really need to control him. He's just tracking those uh, those runs. He's sometimes even pushing forward, pushing ahead of the attacker to cut a passing lane. He's doing it all. Is he going to take us one-on-one? -on -one? He is. Can I get that? Yes, I can. He's greening everything. I'm pretty sure every shot my opponent has took has been green. But yeah, that is a very good block. He's going to pass into Haaland. I'm going to push there. Can I get that? He slightly reached out to it. The thing is, right, if that's someone like Varane or Rudiger, I think it's an easy interception. Like, it's possession-based. With Kunde there, because his reach is not amazing, because he is a 5'11 player, he does sometimes do that. He does, like, sometimes try to flick the ball away. Oh, that's a very... That was quick reactions. I was not expecting him to get that because the ball came at him at a lot of pace. But yeah, as I was saying, sometimes the ball does go past him because of his reach. But then there's other times that he does like reach out to it and just get like a little touch onto it. That's a very good through ball. I'm going to get Kunde to come over to help out Varane a little bit. Is he going to try to go line? I reckon he is. No, no way. Haaland is incredible. But that right there, I feel like Kunde should be easily coming out of that. How is Haaland just took a touch just before he went into the tackle? So it is time to give my final thoughts on a card. We ended up playing four games with Kunde, and unfortunately, I could not score a single goal with him. Not one goal. It's disappointing because I went for plenty of crosses from corners. It's just it wasn't happening. You guys can clearly see his heading ability isn't anything amazing. He's not a player that can outhead a Chiellini, a De Militao, Varane, Rudiger. Those kind of players definitely have a better heading ability than Kunde. The first thing I want to speak about, though, is the pace on this card. The pace on this card is amazing. You guys saw how quick he was to get out to players, easily catching up to players as well. Transition speed, incredible. Honestly, transition speed, definitely better than uh, Rudiger's. Definitely better than Adair Militao's as well. Like, I'm telling you guys, the way he was transitioning was unreal. He's so quick, and he's just, like, so smooth of it as well. There was times I was screwing up, 
but because of how quick he can transition, I was like recovering really quickly. So yeah, the pace, amazing. Passing ability, love the overtop through balls and the short passing, obviously there's no issue there as well. Passing ability, especially for centre back, is very solid. Dribbling ability, I went for a few dribbles. I was not keeping it simple. The thing is with Kunde, right? You can go for a few turns. You can go forward. You can accelerate into the space. You don't have to, you know, try to pass the way he's facing. You don't have to do that. You can go for a few twists and turns. And that's something I was really enjoying from this card. The fact that I can kind of walk out of pressure, let's say. So yeah, the dribbling ability, once again, especially for a centre back, it is amazing. Defending ability. There definitely was times that a few interceptions went past him, a few interceptions, a few through, sorry, went past him. He didn't reach out to it. And when he did reach out to some, it kind of like just bounced off him. And you guys know, if a player like Varane or Rudiger was in that situation, they're easily coming out of it. Possession base as well. That ball would just stick to him because of the fact that they have got a bigger reach than Kunde. It sometimes felt like Kunde had to be perfectly in the lane to intercept the ball. And that is definitely annoying to see this late into the game. So yeah, the defending ability... Standing tackling and stuff was solid. Slide tackling was very good as well. It's just the interceptions just was a little bit off because of his reach. Defensive awareness, by the way, incredible. Just tracking runs by himself, pushing himself in front of attackers as well so he can cut passing lanes. He was doing it all when it came down to just like positioning himself, let's say. Uh, physicals. Honestly, his physicals were good. But with him having 99 strength, I honestly thought he was going to try to get himself into like way more contact to contact situation so way more like shoulder to shoulder situation so he can push players off the ball but that really wasn't happening like he didn't do it against Benzema and he didn't do it against another player which I can't remember and it is slightly annoying to see because he has got that 99 strength so I want him to use it but he doesn't use it as often as I would like so yeah the strength was a little bit weird aggression though you can definitely tell he's going into tackles very very aggressively price of this card 178k it's good pricing. That's not bad at all. I think 178k is definitely worth it. Do I believe he is a better centre-back than uh, Rudiger? And who's the other one? The other one, oh yeah, a damn minute. I've mentioned him like three or four times already. I don't believe he's better than Rudiger. I definitely would say Rudiger is better. Do I believe he's better than Adair Militao? No, I think Adair Militao is also better. As I said, I think he transitions better than Adair. It's just Adair's tackling ability for me is better than Kunde's. It just feels like Adair goes in a bit stronger and somehow reaches out to uh, through balls as well way better than Kunde. So yeah, Adair Militao, Rudiger, I'll take those two over Kunde. Where does Kunde go in the defender's tier list? I think he's very close to S tier, but I am going to put this card in the A+. I definitely will say... Varane is miles better than this Kunde card. Uh, any other centre-back? Carl Walker. You know what? I'm taking Carl Walker as well. I think Carl Walker is a better centre-back than Kunde as well. There's a lot of better centre-backs than Kunde, but he is still amazing. And I do believe he is worth the 178k. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.